The race for governor is heating up as one of Andrew Cuomo's longtime supporters puts on the gloves and throws her hat into the ring. Stephanie Miner is the former Syracuse mayor and one-time co-chair of New York's Democratic Party, who's making waves over her decision to run, quote, not as a Democrat, not as a Republican, but as a citizen of New York, end quote, on an independent ticket. New York Public Radio's Karen DeWitt caught up with the gubernatorial contender for New York Now. Why are you doing this? Succinctly, because I've seen the people of my city suffer under real extraordinary challenges, and I've tried to do what I could as mayor for eight years to help them. Uh, and I just ran up uh, roadblock after roadblock. And you can't have people come and ask you to get involved in the system and say that you have a message and look at what is happening to our state and say, no, I'm going to sit this one out. It's just, it's too important. Too important to my, you know, I want my uh, sisters and my nephews and nieces, uh, everybody to continue to live here. Uh, and I want to be able to say, yes, we're solving problems and we have a vibrant democracy. And, and we don't. And turning a blind eye to, the, uh, to corruption by both parties uh, was the, it was the, the final point of saying, yeah, it's, it's time to stand up and be counted and say this is unacceptable. You're getting in pretty late, though. Yeah, you're I not, am. You're not doing it with a regular political party, yep. and you lack funding. So yeah, so right, and and I'm from upstate, and I'm short, and I'm a woman. So you know, I could just continue here, uh, Karen. Oh my God, I'm not going to do this now. No, look, the, the challenges are 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 clearly there, um, and I am well aware of them. Um, but so is the sense that this is a, an opportunity and a time for a message and a very, uh, when people are seeking out choices and saying that the system isn't working and we want something different. Um, and so, you, you know, for better or for worse, my path in life has always been the harder path. It's, I've found that it's uh, been better for me to take that path and have, I have more integrity when I do it. And so I'm well aware of the challenges. Uh, but I think it's important to stand up and say what you believe in, particularly when it could matter and help people. Critics say that you could cause the Republican candidate, Mark Molinaro, to win by potentially taking votes away from Cuomo. Yeah, those are, those are critics who in one way or another are getting some sort of resources from the governor. Um, and I think that uh, they'd rather be talking about that than the uh, monthly corruption trials and the, uh, the fact that a million people have left New York State looking for uh, opportunity elsewhere, the fact that our infrastructure is crumbling around us, that we pay the most in education yet have some of the worst results, that we pay the most in health care and yet have some of the worst results. I mean, those are things that $30 million will not hide. Uh, and those are things that New Yorkers are dealing with every single day. Well, what do you think about, there seems to be a kind of an orchestrated level of attacks that have gotten into my uh, reporter's yeah. email box about it's a fool's errand, why is she doing this? You know, look, it, it's What not, is that about? What is, who's behind that? I, I'll tell you what's behind it. People who are vested uh, and are uh, succeeding in this current status quo. Uh, and they are trying to have this faux grassroots outrage that's just not there. And it doesn't take very long to look at those who's sending those messages out and make the connection back to somebody who's getting resources um, from the state party uh, or the state. And again, I simply say to people, if you think it's appropriate to turn a blind eye to corruption because it's Democrats who are doing it, then I, I'm not your person. I think that people in integrity should trump partisanship. And we've seen these same people attack President Trump and the Republicans for being silent. Uh, you can't have it both ways, just based on one's a Republican and one's a Democrat. And that's why I'm, I've chosen the harder, but I think the more honest route is to say neither party is working. Both party establishments have done a disservice to us, and we need to take a new way. Well, you're in this new party, Sam. I hope that's short for Samantha. Right? <laughs> it's, yeah, or, or Stephanie A. Minor, yeah, you know. But do you think that the parties are disintegrating? I do. Look, I can, you can look at data points and see that more and more people are registering uh, as non-affiliated or unenrolled in New York State. You can look at what we saw with Bernie Sanders um, and, for that matter, with Donald Trump. More and more people who were saying uh, the system is not working and it's hurting us. And the people who were Bernie Sanders supporters weren't necessarily Democrats first and foremost. They were people who were driven by a sense that we should have a better outcome and we should have better results for people. You know, you're talking about campaign finance reform. Everybody that's running is, but it yeah, seems like look, the hard reality is you still need money. You still need to be on, despite all the social media, you need to be on network TV, on the baseball shows, you yeah. know, to get your 
name known. So how do you overcome that? Look, every, that's the key that you're, you're saying. That's kind of the what everybody says. Oh, you know, I really want campaign finance reform, but I've got I've to engage in this terrible, dirty system that's not right in order to raise money. And I said in 2015, I'm not going to accept anonymous contributions anymore. So by that very act, I am different in saying that I am holding true to my beliefs and my values, uh, even though it's difficult and will put me at a competitive disadvantage. And the sense that people will uh, respond to that. There will be other people who will give donations, smaller donations. You know, the governor can raise, I mean, on the second day of the corruption trial, the governor, as I saw, had one, one event, which is he's going to raise money at $5,000 a pop. Uh, it's unacceptable. And I, I think the people of the state will see it for what it is, which is a green badge of corruption.